find my shoes anywhere. Are these ones? No, not those. They're probably left behind in Antwerp, like everything else. Clara, please, we'll be late. We haven't even got the right clothes. I don't think anybody's going to notice we're in mourning. All the more reason to make our excuses. I don't know why you feel we have to go to this ball. What am I going to say if someone asks after Alfonso? I don't think you need me to tell you. Or Victoria, if someone asks her where her father is. I'll have a word with her if you like. No, I'll talk to her. As you wish. After all, I am her mother. It's only right that I should be concerned for my daughter. Or should I now behave differently toward her? You're still upset by Alfonso's will, aren't you? I'm not upset. It's just a piece of paper. Nothing's changed. I'm merely concerned for my daughter. Besides, I don't know how anyone can describe a will as just a piece of paper. Count Foscombe. Donna Isabel and her sister Clara Salvador and her daughter Victoria. I'm honored. The privilege is ours. Having heard about you all these years, I'm delighted at last to make your acquaintance. My condolences on your husband. Thank you. Allow me to introduce the people in the Only one has to be here. Venice. For eminence, Isabella. Quite agreeable. You seen the one lingering next to the Turkish ambassador? Well, that's the younger sister, Clara. Pretty, isn't she? Husband? Recently deceased. No woman should be left alone for long. <laughs> well, wish you luck. These converts can be quite unpredictable, you know. Like all women. Um, if you are successful, would you kindly let me know their plans? I didn't acquire their permits so that they could go over to the Ottomans with all their holdings. Signor Sane, De Monte, what a pleasure. May I introduce Donna Isabel? I'm honored. And her sister, Clara Salvador. May I invite you to dance? Simple, simple, double, double. to know people's names before you've been introduced, Signor Zane. It's my nature. And has your nature ever let you down? The Monte speaks very highly of you. What does he say? If I told you, you might accuse me of trying to flatter you. Then you'd better not repeat it. Try this one. What is it? Red wine. <laughs> Strange question. I meant what kind. Well, what kind do you like? Do they not drink wine where you come from? Of course they do. There are people for whom wine is forbidden because of their religion. In honor of our Turkish ambassador and for his sultan, a gift to celebrate this rare occasion. For our friendship and for our mutual dependence, long may we live in peace and prosperity.
never hurts to flatter your enemies. Is that why you reward them with such priceless gifts? Just a gentle reminder that they can never reproduce glass of such beauty. <laughs> and then come flying out of his mouth. Oh, you haven't introduced us. Donna Clara Salvador, Miss Francesca Dorazzo. You're newly arrived in Venice? Yes, from Antwerp. Of course, your clothes are so refreshingly plain. Mrs. Salvador is in mourning. My deepest condolences. Forgive me. There is nothing to forgive. Excuse me. Until we meet again. Victoria, that's quite enough wine. We're leaving. Say goodnight. But will you not let her finish her glass? It'll have to be for another time. Don't no, Isabel, you're not leaving us. I'm afraid we're still not fully recovered from our journey. You must call on me soon. You've already done so much for us. Well, I can do so much more. Now, you will call on me. I will. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.